As the ski season reaches its end in the Northern Hemisphere, the season for shredding begins down under. Australia is a great destination for skiing from early June to the mid-October, and the country's best ski resorts offer unique winter adventures. Here, world-class winter sports competitors have been produced, and you'll find slopes and off-piste terrain for every level. In today's video, we're counting down the top 5 ski resorts in Australia. Number 5. Mount Buller We'll start in Mount Buller in Victoria, which is often referred to as Melbourne's playground. Located just three hours from Melbourne, this ski destination has a bit of everything. From challenging black diamond runs to gentle beginner trails and everything in between. With 22 lifts, 85 runs and over 300 hectares of skiable terrain, including three terrain parks and a ride across course, there's something for every level of skier or snowboarder. About 35% of the runs cater to more experienced skiers, and the longest run is about 3 kilometers. The area reaches around 1800 meters in altitude, which is decent height for an Australian ski resort, but the resort only receives an average of 2.4 meters of snow per season. This is the least of the major Australian ski resorts, and most seasons the snow base doesn't even reach 1 meter. This can be a downside, but if you're not into skiing or snowboarding, there are plenty of other activities to keep you busy, like tobogganing or snowshoeing. After a day on the slopes, kick back and relax in the charming Alpine village, complete with over 30 bars and restaurants. Feast on delicious pizza, indulge in a fancy meal, or join the locals for Apri Ski. And if you're lucky, you might even catch a glimpse of Australia's Winter Olympians in action at one of the resort's competitive events. Whether you're looking for a day trip or a longer stay, Mount Buller is a great destination. It's the closest ski resort in Australia to a major city and international airport, making it easy to access. However, this also means that Mount Buller can be ridiculously crowded on weekends with weekend warriors and sightseers. Number 4. Mount Hotham Have you ever heard of a ski resort where the village is located at the top of the mountain? Well, Mount Hotham in Victoria is a quite unique, upside-down resort and home to some of the most challenging terrain in the country. In fact, the resort is referred to as Australia's powder capital. Unlike Falls Creek, which is known for its family friendliness, Mount Hotham is considered by many to be the Australian ski resort for serious skiers and boarders. The ski resort is reasonably sizable for a Victorian ski field, with a vertical drop of 395 metres and 320 hectares of skiable terrain. A whopping 40% of the 72 runs are suited for advanced riders, and they even have the Extreme Zone, which has a few cliffs, super steeps, and tight trees, so it's only for experts. Although this resort is a paradise for the experts, there's a separate beginner's area located a bit further away from the resort center. Mount Hotham isn't just for skiing enthusiasts. Take a break from the slopes and explore the resort's 35 kilometers of cross-country ski trails. Or try your hand at snow tubing, tobogganing, or husky sled dog tour over the backcountry trails. And when the day's skiing is done, head to one of the resort's 20 restaurants and bars for some Apri ski fun. The resort peaks at 1800 meters, but you shouldn't worry about snow coverage. Mount Hotham scores more natural snow than most of the other Victorian resorts and continues to expand its snow making capabilities. Plus, with the resort's location at the top of the mountain, you will have incredible views of the clouds alongside the the white slopes below. Number 3. Falls Creek With 92 runs and 450 hectares of skiable terrain to explore, this resort beats out all the others in Victoria when it comes to the number of trails available to carve up. Plus, with its wide ski fields, mellow pitches, and friendly village atmosphere, it's a firm favourite among families, beginners, and intermediate skiers. It's the opposite of Mount Hotham. Almost 80% of the runs are suited for beginners and intermediates, but Falls Creek also offers something for thrill seekers, with excellent freestyle skiing and four terrain parks. However, advanced riders should be aware that there's minimal challenging advanced terrain. 
The resort is very well developed with great amenities and services. The pedestrian only ski village is a major draw with all accommodation, dining and snow activities. The many ski in ski out accommodation is also part of the reason many families go here every year. It's a five hour drive from Melbourne which makes the area less crowded compared to Mount Fuller which is a three hour drive from Melbourne. If you don't fancy downhill skiing, cross country skiing at Falls Creek is pretty good. With a network of more than 65 kilometers of groomed trails that start right from the village. Or you can enjoy delightful views across the Rocky Valley Lake. Number 2. Threadbow Right, moving on to number 2 on the list, Threadbow. With its prestigious national records and stunning views, Threadbow is a winter paradise that caters to skiers of all levels. This is one of the best all-rounder ski resorts in Australia. With 53 runs and 480 hectares of skiable terrain, which provides a reasonably good mix of slopes for all ability levels. Threadbow offers Australia's longest ski run, the Super Trail, spanning an impressive 3.7 kilometers. But it's not just about the length. Threadbow also boasts the highest vertical drop in Australia and some of the best steeps in New South Wales. And for the adrenaline junkies, there are four terrain parks to explore. Backcountry skiers have access to some of the best options among all resorts, including the chutes and Australia's highest peak, Mount Kosciuszko. However, this isn't as difficult as Mount Hotham, and to be fair, the area has a bias to intermediate riders with mainly groomed cruises and some steepish blues. Beyond skiing, Threadbow has plenty of activities to offer. The village is packed with trendy shops and restaurants, day spas, and even an Olympic-sized pool and rock climbing wall. And for a more luxurious stay, there are accommodation options ranging from youth hostels to luxury lodges, all powered by renewable energy. Number 1. Perisher Finally, we've reached number 1 on the list. Perisher in New South Wales is by Australian standards a mega resort. With the largest skiable terrain and the greatest numbers of lifts in Australia, as well as the Southern Hemisphere. With 113 runs and over 1,200 acres of skiable terrain, Perisher is the perfect destination for skiers who like their mountains big and their runs long. That is more than double most of the other resorts Australia has to offer. The size has also made Perisher the most popular snow destination in Australia. With four different resort areas, including Blue Cow, Smiggin Holes, Guthaga and Perisher, there's no shortage of terrain to explore. And if you're an intermediate skier, you'll feel right at home here, as Perisher caters primarily to this ability level. However, the mountain has little to offer upper advanced and expert riders. If you're into kickers and rails, Perisher offers five terrain parks, including a super pipe and is the home of the world's best Australian freestyle skiers and snowboards. Compared to other Australian resorts, Perisher is one of the highest ski resorts, reaching 2,050 metres. Whilst Australia isn't known for its powder, Perisher snow quality fares better than other Aussie ski resorts, thanks to aspect and altitude. Cross-country skiers can glide along 100 kilometers of well-groomed trails through beautiful forests of gum trees. If you're lucky, you might even catch a glimpse of a wombat snuffling in the snow. How exotic is that? That's it for today. Which resort would you love to visit in Australia? Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe for more content from us in the future. See you next time.